massive legend here. Today, we're going to be doing an office tour. It's been one of uh, the more requested videos since um, I did the collection room and before that I did what's on the shelf. It's only fitting that I show where the magic actually happens. And I'm not talking about intercourse because I collect trading cards. Oh, fuck. Oh, what the f- No! Thanks. I Guys, I just beheaded Luigi like that just snapped! Luigi gone! Luigi's one of my favorite sidekicks, and now he's beheaded. <laughs> this thing feels like it's about to snap. I'm getting fat. I don't know if this is a good idea. Maybe the- Oh! Nah, 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 fuck, no, nah, none of that. Let's just do this shit. Let's go. So down here, we're gonna start with the iconic entrance scene. This is the main part that you guys always see when I enter through the door. Somebody once told me that what the fuck is it? What the fuck are those? All right, what do we have down here in the starting corner? We oh, I've actually been looking for this. There is a, it's a cool little ocarina. We've got a Vault Boy watch. Um, little misc items and things, some toys I never did a video on. We've got some, you guys remember these? Pokemon marbles. These were so cool. Uh, it's unfortunate they chip really easily. If you actually play marbles with them and click them together, they chip like a motherfucker. Uh, there's a code you can probably try to get. It's probably already taken, who knows. Uh, different things here, and then we start entering the realm of the pop vinyl. Now the thing about these, um, you notice I have some quite rare pops, and they've got some scuff marks and things. I've taken poor care of them. Um, and a lot of these, these go for a, a lot. Even though they're not special, they're just old pops that are no longer printed anymore. Sometimes a pop will be very old, but it will still be in circulation. There'll be so many of them printed, it never runs out, or they'll keep being printed. They keep the licensing, and that's just how it works. But for a lot of pops, they either stop renewing the licensing, or they just don't print them anymore. And they become known as vaulted pops. Biggie and Tupac? Sweet fucking god. These boys, even loose, go for a fair bit. But, like, Tupac boxed on his own. It's pretty wild since he's just a standard pop that is now vaulted. That I originally got for 15 Australian dollars. And please take note that none of these I ever wanted to take out of the box. I used to live in a smaller, uh, one-room sort of place. And I, I literally didn't have room, so when I first started collecting, I just took them all out of the boxes. I no longer do that at all. Um, we've got a League of Legends statue, Annie there, very high quality, pretty cool. Uh, in this one, we've got a statue that I got from Disney World. Looks like wood, but it's not actually wood. We've got the, uh, some of the Kiss Boys there, we've got some Blizzard Pops. Down here, we have a handmade uh, Totoro, Totoro? No, I just called him Totoroids. These are all very dusty. I don't take any care of anything. Um, I'm a disgusting animal, but you you probably come to already know that. There's Eevee, there's a fat, fat ass Pikachu, some weird thing from some Japanese game or app or something. I got that in Japan in one of the claw machines. Down here we've got a dog. We've got some random things. What the fuck is this? We've got these uh, Blind Box Street Fighter by Kid Robot. Um, we've got a mystery one and a, and a shown one. Got a lot of stuff like that sitting around that I want to eventually start opening. Cords and things, blah blah blah. There is some Loot Crate boxes. There is a old school Pikachu. I think it's the Hey You It's Pikachu or the the other one. Scored that in Japan for like seven dollars. Then we're down here. Oh shit! Jay and Silent Bob, we've got Blunt Man, Chronic, Cockknocker, and Luther King. Alright, some more loot crate in there. Tons of shit I never opened. I was originally doing uh, on the line for doing sponsorships, and I, it just never came through. It's an old camera down there. This end, you got a uh, an old PlayStation. There, uh, we've got some, <laughs> some old iPhones or iPods, smashed ones. Got a uh, some sort of Final Fantasy figure. In this crate here... We keep a lot of the somewhat sorted cards. So what's this one? This is my kind of collection of Play-Doh Pokemon. Um, I'm not going to go through that 
on this video, obviously, but there's a lot of different things here. What the hell is this one? Uh, this is some of the sun and moon set. This one's the second sun and moon set. Oh, the first sun and moon set. The other one was the second one. This is my collection of Zapdos. Uh, other legendary Pokemon. Ra just random shit. Moltres. Mew. This I'm not sure why. Anyway, I could go on. There's some Pikachu. There's, t there's tons of them. There's fucking tons. Just next to that, there's... Um, don't really actually catalog these. It's just, just some good cards that I pulled that one time from uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. And then we've got some... Uh, some cool Adventure Time stuff. Haven't talked about that before. There's just, just, there's just lots of cards. And here there's uh, spare tins. Gotta got have some tins spare. Down here, more card sleeves. Uh, this looks like a bag of trash, but if we peer in there, it's uh, some high quality costumes in that. Eyes off, boys. That's for a later. <coughs> Future <coughs> main channel. <coughs> Video. In fact, this whole corner is just random costumes and shit that's unsawed to just chuck there. Some gay hat rack. It's not. I haven't tidied anything up here. Now this corner. Fucking hell. This is where I, I I have everything off camera that I haven't filmed or that I have filmed and is in storage. Let's see. For instance, um, these Adventure Time mystery figures and tins. Actually, not sure if they're mystery or if. if uh, the corresponding characters reside inside the tins. But yeah, that's something I haven't filmed. Final Fantasy cards. Rick and Morty! Blind boxes! What I like about these is they have different rarities. Like, um... Ghost in a Jar is one of 72 chance to get. So you can see they're all, all different. I love having that hard to collect chance. Uh, just sort of miscellaneous things. Cards. Fake cards. Big old box of fake cards. This box as well is, it's just Yu-Gi-Oh, it's a whole crate. It's a whole case full of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh booster boxes. And then if you, this one over here, I think this is, would you look at that? Loaded with more Yu-Gi-Oh. Who would have thought? You got some, um, some Mario figures or something there. Sort of old random boxes I've already filmed. Just different stuff. Boxes I haven't filmed, boxes I haven't filmed. It goes on guys, it's it's just fucking loaded. What's this one? Oh, look at this. Sun and Moon Booster Boxes. They are the mapped English ones. Everywhere you look is boxes and unfilmed shit. Can't show everything guys, you gotta leave some stuff up to the imagination. And so I can make some nice future episodes. Uh, reel it back a bit. We've still got a bunch of Mega Mystery Power Boxes for when I do eventually open those. This box is all cards that are not Pokemon. This box here is cards, uh, all fake Pokemon cards, and then just random boosters. This is a Yu-Gi-Oh box. This one is just normal Pokemon cards that are, that's full. It's a full one. And you'll see there is a couple of full ones. A uh, <laughs> lot of cards there. Some random... More random stuff, uh, more cards, more boosters. I think this here holds some of my all-time rarest cards. Not gonna go into it, but there is some pretty wild stuff in there. Over here, more loose pops. Uh, about four copies of Chef on DVD. Um, figure, uh, more Pokemon cards, loose pops. A Diablo 3 USB drive. Shout out to Chad for getting me that. Uh, more loose pops, little swords, more lo loose pops, boxed pops, Gemini exclusive, Comic Con exclusive, Fred and Barney's, uh, more pops, a Game Boy SP, pop, 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 pop to the top. Now you come off there, you go onto the couch. There's, a, there's, there's more cards. Jesus Christ, this box costs a hundred fucking dollars for cardboard. It's cardboard holding more cardboard wrapped in plastic. Incredible. Over that end of the couch, there's more boxes. There's more packages, there's things. You may be wondering, what's this gap here for? Well, when I come through that door, usually I'll have one of my makeshift piece of shit duct tape lights sitting up there to disperse the light appropriately. Now, just up from that, we've got some storage. There's some really cool stuff up there I would love to film soon, including this giant battle game for four-year-olds. I'd love to play that with uh, one of my mates or something. Now from there we come to the main domain. This is where the magic 
happens. This is the center stage. And I always have, again, I'm a professional. This is just a box. And I go, boom! Does that look familiar? Hey guys, Max Mofo Pokemon here. We're, go we're opening some cards. That's a wrap, cut it up, episode, post it. All filmed on this, uh, this little bench block thing. You may be wondering why it's got a shirt on it. That's so my arms, when I'm sweating, don't stick to this. There is a few episodes where you can hear my arms lifting up, uh, getting stuck to this and sweating. So I just chucked a shirt on it and uh, worked its magic. This is an amiibo stand. It's, it's still in there, just not using it. Now actually on the stage now, these are all unboxed stuff, uh, mystery power boxes, there is a bunch of booster boxes, sun and moon stuff, all the way up there. Different booster boxes, all unopened still. Uh, everything's just sort of chilling. I'm a little bit reluctant to open it uh, to fuck with the feng shui going on. And uh, when I film an episode when I need to grab a sleeve, I reach up here. I'll get one of these tight fit sleeves. I'll chuck that on and then I'll reach over here to this little box usually and I'll grab a hard sleeve. That's if you get a, a nice card. This birthday Pikachu there. It's sort of just random scraps and cards and things from recent videos or stuff I'm working on or filming. This has a bunch more cards in it. Just random storage. I've got shit fucking everywhere. Anywhere I can store something. This is also where I store all of my pins. Just shove them in there, my coins and whatever else. This is an original, really old school Pokemon case. Got that in Japan. Uh, this tin here, under that. Might remember this. I was trying to flatten it out a bit. Not really trying too hard, obviously. Uh, that's really expensive. That's sort of just sitting there because I'm an idiot. This tin has some of my rarest cards ever in it. I'm not going to go through them all right now, but there, there's some cool stuff. A lot of it's just random, but um, just all sorts of uh, different stuff from across all ages. This is one of my favorites. This is a card I pulled that is genuinely on the top of the of, or the bottom of the print row and it's misaligned and it's got the the actual colors that come on the the top and bottom of the big printing sheets that's really cool that's one of my favorites a lovely uh, miscut on, on an incredible actual pokemon all right so enough of those here's some lenses uh sometimes i'll change between lenses depending what i'm filming more unpackaged uh, stuff up here more loose pops um i usually just ended up having whatever pops originally when i set up this desk that would fit a full set in each. However, uh, yes, the Big Bang Theory is fucking garbage. Um, anyway, I don't have... There's actually one too many to fit there. Those originally were the set that sat here. But now I use this to sort of just chuck stuff up there that I'm in the process of finding a home for. This side, uh, more Walking Dead. And then up there you got Jack Skellington. Nightmare Before Christmas. And let's take a look at the sweet top. There's a Mellow from Death Note. There's a very ugly Sora. Absolutely putrid looking. Bobblehead looking ass. Who's hot for Kingdom Hearts 3, boys? These cool little roller Pokemon. I really like these. Uh, someone sent these to me in the mail when I did mail time. Got these little sort of ball bearings. You can kind of just roll them around on the table. Cartman. Different things. Mickey stuff. We've got some DBZ there. Uh, there's some Cloud Strife. There's Ash in the back. There is Jake the dog. There's the... Oh! Oh! Um, three more PlayStation 1s. Some Ninja Stars stuck in that. Then Sonic and Knuckles. Really wish I didn't open those. Those go for a little bit now too, I think. You got Mario up here. He's the king of the castle. And uh, he's very sloppily holding a Game Boy Color and a, a copy of a game that he's one of the stars of. Back out here, Batman Aperture Science. Shout out to my portal boys and girls. More Pokemon. There is the Dragon Ball shaped water bottle. Some more Dragon Ball Z shit over here. That's a really nice statue actually. He-Man stuff. Little Pokemon things. There's, there's Max. Some, got some dice in his head. Uh, that's pretty much the whole lot. There's a Sonic Energy drink. Oh, 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 come on! Come on, you cunt. 
There we go. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's, uh, well, I mean, kind of a lot. Some more stuff we could look down here when I'm actually working. Actually, you might think this is pretty crazy. Um, so in here, this is mostly Magic the Gathering, just to hold out the box, but this is where I'm starting to put my hollows, Pokemon hollows, and that is because this one is completely fucking full. Check this out. This is pretty wild. Anything you pull out of here is a hollow. And I don't just mean a, some sort of new gen shitty reverse. These reverses are in here because they're from a fucking crazy set that I consider more valuable than a regular new hollow or whatever. But everything else in here is ho is holographic. They're all hollow Pokemon cards. The whole tub of the cunts. So that's that. Then you got this one which is reverse two. This is... These are... It's not a great way to keep them at all. This one was already fucked, I think. These are all hollow. I'm um, sorry, these, these are all reverse. Everything in here is a reverse. And that is box two. Uh, that green box back there, also full of... Re 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 full of reverses. A very, very poor way to keep them. Absolutely never do that. I just... I don't have the time or the room, like... It'd be pretty fucked to try to put every single one of those in a binder. But yeah, everything under here is holding an immense amount of cards in one way or another. Um, uh, it's pretty much it, guys. Um, except if you want to go under here, a few more things, another binder full of some kind of organized card. Different boxes and stuff that's still full of cards, it's magic stuff. These boxes both just, just contain Ultra Pro hard sleeves. Look at that. Just, just full of them. There's like a, a week old cherry. And this box is sleeves. I'm sorted. Anyway guys, my name has been Max Mofo. Thank you so much for watching and thanks for all the support. This channel is booming. This channel's crazy. I'm posting so much on it. I'm absolutely having a blast. I love the community. It's very cool to be able to communicate with everyone. I feel, you know, a real connection. Like I can, I can still fucking communicate. These are two videos that you guys can watch. Uh, if you would like to check out my shelf and what's on my shelf, or you would like to see my big collection room if you haven't seen that, please go ahead and support those. Hey, if you've already seen them, watch it again. You're not doing anything else with your miserable life. Hey, Vesel, yeah, fuck you.